What's up, my little talent tells? How you doing? Well, if you're Cheney Jones, baby, you send them messages, subs, and everything else you can to Kanye West. And guess what, mama? I'm not mad at it, y'all. What am I talking about? Listen, so much has transpired in the last week. Of course, I'd be on vacation while it was happening. But you know what? Let's play checkup. Cheney Jones just entered the chat and let Kanye West know you ain't have, you ain't have all these problems when you was with me, baby. But also, Kim is scrambling to distance herself from Kanye. She's even trying to throw Pete's name into it. We heard about the text message, but now there's a new theory that that text message never even happened. Kim's people were just trying to get something under the radar. And y'all, you can't make this up. Let's get into it, but before we do, hit that like and subscribe button podcast is dropping soon just want to get it perfect for you guys also real housewives of potomac recap and the kardashian recap will be up so you can listen to it while you're getting dressed in the morning your drive and everything all right y'all let's get into this where are we gonna start at first well let's start with cheney because let me tell y'all something cheney jones honestly was a good look for kanye now listen it might have been coincidence it might have been coincidence so he was acting a fool then he got with cheney jones then he learned to be quiet play the media game and he was literally beating the kardashians at his own game he was he was calling me with chilling there was mystery kim was being dragged left and right <laughs> side note why is Kanye trying to say that the reason why Kim said that he that Pete was the best she ever had and all this other stuff is because the media told her to say that? Oh, Tink Tink, is that what you got to tell to soothe your ego? But seriously, with the Cheney Jones stuff, he was like, he was winning the game called life. Again, it could have been coincidence. But then him and Cheney broke up. She came back to the U.S., seemed like they reunited a few times, but the minute he unfollowed her on his birthday, that's when all H-E double hockey sticks took over. And he hasn't been the same since. I'm just saying, well, it looks like I wasn't the only one that noticed because Cheney posted this on her Instagram feed. She put Cheney Jones with that body and that face. Like she said, that face card never declines, right? She said, good for the image, better for the soul and then put a little slide show in she got her balenciaga pump she got her pink for that you know cheney loves a good pink a good pale pink hot pink cream you know that that's cheney's aesthetic right very much she's very much is what's cheney's aesthetic in her home kind of like california cottage no what's the thing california royal california what's the california aesthetic that everybody talks about oh the coast the california coast aesthetic that's very much her vibe right look at this got the black balenciaga one piece body just sitting face looking so well is that a cardi watch i see on your wrist mm, you better go miss jones but again like cheney says um yeah she was good for the good for the image no doubt and better for his soul to me it sounds like cheney's trying to let know like baby i look good on your arm but baby i fed your soul too and again it might be coincidence but cheney might actually have a point on this he wasn't acting and running amok in the palace shout out to Janie, that's me he wasn't running a muck in the streets while he was with Cheney Jones. Now, I do want to say this. She also put on her Instagram just to remind us what mama was working with. She also put, look at this face. She also put some stuff on Instagram just smirking. Do, you know how like sometimes a man leaves you and you sit in there like, until you do right by me, you ain't never, never gonna be free. I, I don't know. There's Cheney's cute. She got her home in there too. I will just say this, right? Could it be Cheney Jones actually has a point? That was when Kanye was winning the media war, the PR war. Now just hear me out. Cause I know so many of y'all like, you don't understand Kanye's a genius. He making moves. I understand that. I understand that. Oh, he disrupting, he triggering people. I understand that. But if you ever read The Art of War, like so many of y'all recommended I do, I actually did read The Art of War. It was required reading in eighth grade. Everybody had to read The Art of War. If you read The Art of War, yes, Kanye might actually end up winning this war that he's waging against everyone. He actually might end up winning. But the thing is with The Art of War, 
you don't try to exhaust all your assets, all your auxiliary, all your troops, all your ammunition, all your power, all your gold to win a war. The art of war is how to win a war as cleanly, quickly, and efficiently as you can. That's the art of war. That's true power, right? True. He might come out victorious. I will give him that. Kanye has pulled aces out of his whatever before, right? But again, when you are at war, any good strategic mind, any good military mind, anybody at battle knows that you do not want it to cost you one iota, one troop, one penny, one dollar, one inch, one property. You don't want it to cost you one iota more than it has to. That's the art of war. That's true mastery. Forget about all this stuff about, oh my God, the people are getting triggered. Kanye was winning while literally conserving all his strength for the real money moves. Now he has a split 10 different ways and y'all can sit there and stand all you want. This is not for him or against him. This is just reality. If you think that almost taking yourself to the brink of whatever, is winning a war yeah but why would you want to crawl through that what country wants to do that what military mind again all these books y'all told me to read i have read them but i can tell y'all have it but anyway let's switch our thing on to one person that's scrambling to get chapter 12 of the art of war is miss kimmy cakes she's come out and said kim is woo she's come out and said that not only has she completely removed herself she literally said People close to Kanye have been begging Kim to come back. Um, and, and Kanye's made attempts to reach out. I 100% believe that, but I think Kanye's reaching out to Kim like, you better keep your mouth shut lest the rest of your secret recordings show up on Candace Owens. I took that laptop from Ray J, but I was making comments. I was, I was recording it on that red eye back home, right? But all jokes aside, right? They're saying Kim will not answer. Listen, Kim was in DEFCON 4 and Kim trying to go into private equity and you got here out, Kanye out here making anti-everybody remarks. Y'all, <laughs> I would laugh if it wasn't so tragic. Kim is looking at her whole business model going up. Now, I know Kim's supposed to be a billionaire. That is highly up for debate. We can all agree that she is definitely a multimillionaire. And even though she could fund the PE by herself, Everybody knows when it comes to money, even Kanye. Only a fool gambles their own money. That is the last ditch of dip. You want to bring other people to let them gamble your their money before you even touch yours. Again, Kim's read the art of war. Anyway, Kim's saying, uh-uh, baby, it's not happening. She's even going to say that she's totally removed herself from the situation. She hasn't spoken directly to Kanye in weeks and at times past, even when Kim and her family were the target of his account attacks she'd be there to help him until he was mentally sound again i'm gonna say two things right and this is a common thing that comes up with kanye and kim right and at this point it's like kanye does it to himself or whatever when kanye was stepping in to stop the sec bullets was stepping in to say captain Sabo, what doing all this stuff because he was like i gotta make sure kim's okay financially because her money is for my children it's funny that Kim's like, yeah, our, my money is for me and your money. I mean, who cares? You can go burn in hell. Listen, it's Kim's right, right? Nobody says you got to attach yourself to a sinking ship. And right now, Kanye in Kim's eyes seems to be sinking. But the funny thing is, Kim's like, I don't care. That's your life. This is mine. It will be interesting to see that if Kanye does beat this and wind up on his two feet, listen, stranger things have happened. I just keep score. All right. If someone's losing, I'll say you just lost the last quarter, but we're going to see what you're going to do in the next quarter, right? There is no point. Let me just say this, right? The one thing I want to say to everybody that loves or hates Kanye, the and, and I just want this to be a little bit of life advice. The, what, the single biggest resource you can ever have in life is the ability to correctly see reality, right? Not what you want it to be, not what you hope it to be, not what it should be, and not what you can make it. But the first step of conquering this physical world we live in is to correctly assess what reality is. And then once you correctly assess reality, that's when you start making these big moves into like, okay, so that's reality. Now that I correctly understand 
all the factors involved and where things actually stand, now I can't make moves to whip it, flip it, and turn this, uh, turn this MF into what I want. It's the single biggest thing that you have the ability to see where things are correctly. So saying that somebody is completely finished and saying someone is not hurt, regardless of where you stand, it's not realistic. And you're not doing anybody's favors by, by blindly having this faith when you need to acknowledge what's happening. And then anyway, but do what y'all want. My whole thing is with Kanye. I don't know. I feel like he has an inability to correctly identify his reality with Kim. Kim sees you as somebody that she can use, someone that is, val in my opinion, valuable to you, right? To them. Every time you fall in hard times, she's like, ew, get away. And every time you got something she can take from you, she comes back. Now, Kanye's no victim because as we've seen, he is happy. He is happy to take back. He is happy to give everything to her because he likes that power and having on it. Listen, that's their dynamic that I see, whatever. I will say this, there's no victims in this story, whether it's Kanye or Kim. They are two people, same sides of the same coin, always trying to play and get over on each other. Now that's sad, right? Kim is allegedly spreading rumors, <laughs> according to Pete's camp, about Kim, Pete trying to get in touch with her and text message. Pete's camp people are coming out and saying that's not true. There were no text messages sent. People are saying this is Kim's attempt to try to get remind the public, hey, remember when I didn't mess with Kanye? Remember when he was a danger to me? Remember this, y'all? I 100% don't believe that Kim ever thought that Kanye was a danger to her. Many people might have been scared for the safety. I never think. How do we know that? Because as soon as Kim saw something else that she needed from Kanye, style advice, clothing, fashion week, Balenciaga pads, she came right back to that danger. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Kim has a way of dealing with people. And if she wanted to, she could deal with Kanye just fine. But you know what's even funnier? Y'all, you can't make this mess up. Let me know in the comments what you think. Just be respectful because you know I stay with my finger on the block button. And that's reality. Anyway, my little time let me know what you think in the comments. And I will talk to you later. Bye.